You are one of the kind of few musicians who is playing other voices this week who has seen it not under these conditions. Mm -hmm. You've been here when it's been the mad bustling music gig slash pub crawl. Yeah. Um, tell us about some of your memories of other voices and of Dingle over the years. Wow. Um, yeah, I think the first time I was very nervous, kind of coming in 2014. Uh, we didn't have a lot of time to spend here. Second time I was here, um, it is. It is just. It's. It, I suppose people might describe it as this sense of arriving. You're arriving home into into. I, I suppose that there is such a a community of musicians, and and even there's there's new communities that are formed here within the, that time frame where people are meeting each other for the first time. People whose work you admire, um, and you are getting to listen to uh, music you wouldn't otherwise have had the chance to. And and it's a very intimate, a very exciting. Uh, very electric time, which is kind of, which is also, um, it's kind of accentuated as well too by the by the by the, where you are in the world and where you are in Ireland. And I think this Dingle itself is, has has a has a, a very beautiful atmosphere to it. it is, it, there's something magical about it. So you kind of feel like you're stepping into into another world and and uh, for that time during, during other voices and and um, that's yeah that's kind of how I interpret it. You know. So. And where else outside of Ireland do you have you ever kind of felt that same sense of arriving home? You've been you've been everywhere, so yeah. Has I, there been somewhere like that that felt like home? I don't. I, I not in the same not in the same sense, and I'm not blowing smoke here. And I think also it, it, as a teenager, when I was like you know 13, 14, as an inspiring musician or somebody who just whose heart was 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 bound for music. Um, Oh, I always looked. You always looked at at other voices as this kind of special, um, this special event and this kind of uh, special showcase of global talent and Irish talent also. And it was always for me, you know, as a teenager, it was kind of that was that was the that was the top dream. You know what I mean? And as a, I don't know if that leans into it, if, if that's something that informs the feeling. But um, I think I think I think all musicians who who play other voices have a love. And a, and a respect for other voices and, a, and hold it in, in very high regards as, as to what its ethos is, and also just the, just the just the culture of of, of um, the people who are working to make other voices happen. There is a there's a there's a wonderful culture within that, and there's a wonderful ethos within that. There's a wonderful atmosphere within that. So, uh, and that 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 permeates all 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 elements of it. And, and um, so, it, when I say it's it's that's particular to other voices, you know, and you can find elements of that in it, but I've never, I've never done a, f a festival or something that has that quite that same feeling, you know, so.